the Mastery Rank 10 upgrade. No polarities in it. But this should tell you exactly what it is. I wonder what this is. Oh! It's a gun blade. Finally, a new gun blade. Kind of sucks it doesn't have any polarities, but with it being a melee weapon, does mean that you have the added bonus of an extra 10 points, meaning instead of it having 60 that it would have normally, it will go up to 70. So it may require a former or two, but 220 damage without any mods in. This thing would better be amazing. Do have one more former I need to put on this to kind of have an elemental combo, but need to also kind of roll this, because I pinched this off somebody, but don't tell them I'm actually using it, uh, to kind of test this thing and, yeah, the increased crit chance, it did make this thing much better than, I'm really, I'm not going to say better than the Redeemer, better than the weapon I was using beforehand, because before this I was using the Paracesis, which I will continue to use for different reasons, but I was quite happy to be using this. I had it on from update 28 for a week and a half I've had this thing equipped and I haven't taken it off, I just left it on because it has really good crit. Throw on Blood Rush that increases the crit chance with the plus 60% crit chance stacks with the combo multiplier. Uh, yeah, I do wish that I could have increased the combo duration for this that would have made it so much better because you don't always have enemies and that's where the melee side of it kind of falls off so yeah another weapon that i ended up putting uh, i'll probably form a dash on this but more than likely it'll be another v and that ribbon well it's going to go back to its original owner anyway so with a v on there at least I can use it for Organ Shatter, True Steel or Berserker, which are all basically increasing the crit chance to give this thing an 85.1% crit chance with a 4.6 times crit multiplier before Blood Rush kicks in. And the attack speed is really sorted with this because Berserker will kick in a lot because this thing will crit a lot. But of course, as I say in every video, how you set yours up will completely depend how you are going to use it. I set mine up for crit and status, hence I am using the dual status elemental mods. It has corrosive on it because I was using it against the Grenier, against the Lich. Corrosive works better against those. Swap those two out for anything. You can put any, co any elemental combo you want on it. And... Well, Reach is because it shoots projectiles, and Blood Rush, True Steel, Organ, Shatter, Berserker, all crit based. Prime pressure point, straight up damage. If you want to build it more towards the status side, you can. If you want to go full on crit, you can. I tried it full on crit, and honestly, with that 100% crit, it was really good. But, with the elemental combo on there, it just stripped the armor that little bit more efficient. It did do less damage, but it took the armor off, which meant it actually took them down quicker. But oh wow, I have missed being able to use a gun blade. It has been so long since there has been a gun blade that I was really glad to see a gun blade return and be able to use it Builds aside, this thing, whether you build it for crit, build it for status, build it for fun, because that's what these things are. You can literally run a melee only weapon and still be able to have that little bit of range that a lot of melee weapons are missing. There is a ton of melee weapons and, what is it, I think it's three total gun blades. I know there's the Redeemer, the Strofa which is this one, and that other one I can never remember the name of. There may be a fourth, I honestly cannot remember, because the Redeemer was just better in every way. And yes, I know there's the Redeemer Prime, I'm counting that as the Redeemer. That would be a fourth one if you want to get technical about it, but it was, and the Redeemer Prime was actually a fairly recent one as well. 
So you would think, having used that, that you wouldn't look at this and go, oh, this was so much fun. But it was. This just seemed to be that tiny little bit better than the Redeemer Prime. If you want to get into the argument of what is best, this or the Redeemer, well, this fires quicker, does more damage, uh, yeah. This, the Strofa, is better than the Redeemer. Better than the Redeemer Prime? Barely. But it is still better than the Redeemer Prime, and I think that's what made it more fun. The Redeemer Prime, unlike the actual Redeemer, is more status based. I mean, that technically is, it's a 22% status and has no crit. The Prime does make up for it, still keeps it as more of a status based weapon. So I guess for the status side of it, it's good, but status is kind of useless without crit and crit is kind of useless without status. So having them kind of balance between the two works wonders. The Redeemer Prime and the Redeemer, well, the Redeemer Prime kind of does this. The Redeemer doesn't, it only has a 10% crit chance. But the Redeemer Prime was good, but not as good because it has a slower attack speed and it does less damage. It does more status, but it still does less damage. Just a tiny little bit. This is why I refuse to get into the argument of what is better, the Strofa or the Redeemer Prime. When it comes down to the single hand of the stats of it, the Strofa looks like it's better. How about we put it that way and then people won't come after me and tell me I'm daft for saying the Redeemer Prime is worse. Has a slower attack speed, but has more status. And deals eight less damage. Eight less damage, kind of meaningless, so... One's crit based, one's status based. And because somebody would have gone to the comments section and mentioned it as soon as I said I couldn't remember the name of it, let me spoil it for you, the other Gunblade, uh, the Sawpath. Which, by the way, is a little bit worse on the damage, but again, it's more status based, but it has no crit, does have the same attack speed. I would say that is better than the Redeemer, but the Redeemer Prime is better than that, and this, Oh, if I could ever find this thing most of the time. This is just a, a little bit better again. It's getting better with every evolution of the Gunblade. This is kind of the pinnacle at the moment if you build it towards the crit side, but still have some kind of elemental combo on there, simply because it does more damage. And that is all by it. So really, it's kind of meaningless. Eight damage is nothing when you talk about melee weapons. But the attack speed being quicker, that eight is actually significantly higher because you can do more DPS. And I'm not getting into the DPS side of things. But since this thing drops from the new Jackal fight and its components are found in the Granum Void, it made this thing really fun to get a hold of, really interesting to play with, and Honestly, I still have this equipped now, and this thing launches on console later today, so it's been two and a bit weeks, and I still have this thing equipped. I'm still using it. I'm still doing the Granum Void. But what I liked most of all about this thing, more than absolutely anything else, is the fact that when you look at the blueprint, the blueprint description tells you that it drops from the Jackal, and the components are hidden hidden in the Granum Void. There was no guesswork on where you find parts for this, where you find the blueprint for it. Everything was right there telling you exactly how to get this thing, which just made it even better to play with. It's just one of the best. It is um, no, it is one of the better gun blades. Let's just put it that way, and we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you. Next time.